Thanks so much for that, Monica. Um, great to hear about the Creator Fund. I know I'm really personally excited to see what comes out of that. And again, as Monica mentioned, if you're interested in learning more or interested in applying, please visit ripple.com slash creator fund. Next up, we'll hear from Witsa Wind. He is the BDFL of XRPL Labs. He'll be joining us virtually from Tallinn, Estonia. Witsa's session will cover the XRP Ledger Foundation's latest developments. Over to you, Witsa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's uh, great to be here uh, from Tallinn, Estonia, as a part of uh, Apex. We are here today with over 20 developers and all of us have been collaborating and talking and meeting virtually on a, a daily basis for a long time, building XRP Ledger projects, working on code bases, proof of concept, and it's so amazing to meet each other here today as part of Apex for the first time in real life, and uh, it, it really feels like a big XRPL developer family meeting. It's been amazing so far. And um, we, we have been working with several people, not only on like, the, the code part, on uh, working together on XRPL code and libraries, but also on getting an XRP Ledger Foundation up and running here in Tallinn, Europe, in Estonia. And uh, a lot of progress has been made already. We have a shared office here in Tallinn where XRPL devs can work together, collaborate. It's a great place for a hub in Europe and also to provide shared services for the XRPL ecosystem. So developers can, uh, can, can do what they do best, and that is develop software and uh, uh, build great things. There's a lot more to tell and to share about what the XRP Ledger Foundation is up to and what it will be doing over the course of the next months and years, but it will all be covered by uh, Barath tomorrow in his presentation. So. The progress that has been made so far with the XRP Ledger Foundation, besides the shared office center and some of shared services, is significant. The, uh, there were a couple of donations uh, in the form of source code and a domain name, xrpl.org, by RippleX to the foundation. And we're looking forward to uh, working with the RippleX team and the XRPL ecosystem to contribute code and develop more with the software repositories now hosted by the XRP Ledger Foundation. And uh, we're really proud that we have been entrusted to uh, host the source code while the entire ecosystem, to, together with RippleX, will contribute uh, in the future to these repositories. So another thing we are going uh, to do more and are already doing with the XRP Ledger Foundation is provide shared services for XRPL devs. And you can think about providing uh, taxonomy and translations for the entire ecosystem to use to provide a consistent user experience whoever is building on the XRPL. We're gonna provide more libraries to make it easier for people to work with the XRPL to gain knowledge and to communicate with each other, with end users, and uh, basically build better tools for more users. We're also really proud that uh, the first developer from the XRPL ecosystem has joined the XRP Ledger Foundation. He will start next month in October full-time working on expanding the XRPL ecosystem, uh, working with developers to provide good tools, to provide all the things we need to be effective. And I think it's a great milestone that, uh, that, that we, we now show that there's a place for, uh, for people, not only as a uh, hobby programmer in the XRPL ecosystem or employed with uh, businesses building onto the XRP on the XRPL, but that there's also a place to work with the foundation, for the foundation, to create a better ecosystem. So there have been a, a number of inspiring presentations today here in Tallinn, Estonia. I guess uh, we will see a lot more presentations uh, both here in Estonia and in Vegas uh, today and tomorrow. And uh, the, the things we've seen so far today are, uh, are absolutely inspiring. We, uh, we, we definitely see that the XRPL is a really great layer to build on top of, to, uh, to use the, the fast, reliable, enterprise-grade blockchain uh, to build really nice applications. And uh, some of the topics covered here today were enterprise settlement on the XRP ledger using standards, education, uh, self-regulation in the e XRPL ecosystem, transaction analysis, 
retail, retail payment integrations, and we're going to uh, watch a couple more presentations, like one about uh, retail payment integrations for offline proof of payments. So really exciting to see what people have been building and, uh, and, and are contributing to this space. We're really looking forward to the upcoming presentations, both in uh, Vegas and here in Tallinn, and uh, um, uh, getting inspired by all the ideas shared and, uh, and the knowledge uh, shared to build the next generation of applications on top of the XRPL. Really curious to see what it will look like.